How about a third jazz chord progression for your ukulele? And why not take a 2-5-1 progression in E flat major? Maybe you think, what will I need E flat major for? Well, if you play jazz, you'll find that the flat uh, keys like B flat, E flat, A flat, they're quite common in jazz. And that's because the brass, so to say trumpets or saxophones, are notated in other keys than we hear. So, for example, if we played B flat major, for a trumpet player, that's C major which means a trumpet player likes B flat major. Or if we play E sharp major for an alto saxophone, that would be C major. So it's a good idea to be familiar with these chords and keys. So E flat major is E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. The second step is the F, so we'll have the F minor. Fifth, fifth step is the B flat, so we'll have B flat 7. And the last is the root, which is E flat major. And of course, we'll use closed voicings. So for the F minor 7, we'll take this one. 5, 5, 4, 6. Five, five, four, six. You can, of course, use four fingers for this voicing, but maybe you'll find it easier to use just three. Then we got the B flat seven chord, which goes like three, five, four, five. Three, five, four, five. And the E flat major 7 chord, which is a berry on the 3rd fret and the ring finger on the 5th fret A string, 5, um, 3, 3, 3, 5. Okay, let's go! A 1, 2, 3, a 4. Let's add a little jazz to the progression. We could e use a B flat 9 chord instead of the B7. It goes like 5 5 4 5. You find there's just a little difference to the F minor 7 chord. And to get back from the E flat major 7 to the F minor 7, we could use an in-between chord like this one. 3, 4, 4, 5. Well, actually, I don't really know what to name it. And it doesn't matter. I like it. So, let's go for it. 1, 2, 3, 4. This here, 3, 4, 4, 5, is kind of 3, 4, 4, 3. And that's the C augmented 7 that we had in the first episode, in the first tutorial, C augmented 7. And there's something special about, about the augmented chords. It, it's that you can move them by two frets without really changing the harmonic function. That, 
That's quite cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or ideas, wishes for other tutorials, please leave a comment. Have fun. Be safe.